The cat ran from the porch all the way over here. Hi. Did you come to see me? It's sad. Did you come to see me? Oh, yes. Oh, you came to see me. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You came to see me. Yes. I missed you. I missed you so much. That's been pretty Kevin, have you been up on that ladder? Not yet. We just spent 10 minutes getting it up, and it was really hard for him. Did I didn't like do a whole lot. Get up on it? Yeah. Okay, I'll offer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that stuff did not feel this. I it threw, what? I threw it at you. <laughs> look, look, here he goes. That's his heart. He hates it. Kevin, you want me to get up there? I'm not afraid. Oh, thank you for the video, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very heavy. Is it supposed to be like this? I don't know. It looks like it's supposed to be mint and honey. I think it, it is. Oh, it is. Do you want to, do you know anything about it, Andrew? No, I just, I've never seen one opened all the way up. It took a lot of effort to get it like that. You helped? Yeah, I did very little in Would the Would you like process. me to come hold it? Yeah. Yeah, they'll get bleach on them, and you have nice jeans on. They literally will get white spots. Yep. Actually, that's a, that's your cue. And you can't have my I military like sweatpants. Pants. Yeah. I've got a pair of Oh Lord, up he goes. <laughs> like climbing Everest. <laughs> Yeah, this is scary. This ladder is like. We see it. It's it's definitely. Yeah, good. are you sure it won't bend and break in the middle? It won't break, but there's no way I'm getting all the way to the top. I mean, I'll spray as high as I can go, and the top will be great. Now I'll uh, I'll change clothes. You cannot come Why not? Do you see it? Do you see that it's curved? I would. I mean, it's a ladder. It's meant to go all the way up. I'm waiting until it slips on the ground. I think it's all blowing this one. Um, I inhaled some earlier. I think it smells good. So, Kevin. I like, I like oh, yeah. Food. So, this is to I get like the green off the back of the house. We bought this stuff like a month ago when we have avoided doing it all summer long. I mean, we've had it all summer, this container sitting here. And then. Uh, we decided that finally it needed to be done because the house was turning green. So once you put that stuff on for a little while, you wait and then you uh, can rinse it off. And so Kevin put like a fire hose nozzle in there and uh, now he's rinsing it off. And he mowed the grass earlier today and um, so he's been busy doing outside stuff today. It's rained here for the past couple of days. What was that hurricane that, that was uh, supposed to come and it didn't? I think it avoided us. Yeah, it avoided us. But anyway, that's it rained for a couple of days there. And then today's the first day that it hasn't rained in a little while. So, um, so he was able to mow the yard and... Um, do this stuff we've literally though like avoided doing this all summer long because just because not because it's not because it's hard but just because it's a pain and we just don't spend a lot of time out here we probably should we checked our p.o box today and we got a package from jen Dumkowski at Peanut Butter and Company. So I did not order anything from Peanut Butter and Company, so I have no idea. Oh, okay. This is her business card. She's the senior brand manager. And let me see what the, let me see. Dear Tammy, thanks so much for your candid YouTube review of our Peanut Butter and Company Mighty Nut Vanilla Powdered Peanut Butter. Mm. I absolutely love this stuff. You said you um, just had some today. Uh, I, yeah, I had some today. It's funny. I had some today for lunch. Um, we are so glad you like it. Given how much you enjoy chocolate powdered peanut butter, we'd love to have you taste and get your feedback on our Mighty Nut Chocolate Powdered Peanut Butter. And, uh, and close, please find 
all four flavors of Mighty Nut, vanilla, chocolate, original, and flax and chia. We hope you enjoy them as much as the vanilla. Ah! How exciting! Oh, cool! I gave you a, what is it, a shaker? Oh! A cup? Oh my goodness! That's a uh, fruit, uh, power drink shaker. Thing. That is so cool! Yeah. Yay! Look, it has measurements on the back. And look! A scoop. That's cool. To use for your peanut butter. And this is the, um, just the original, which I've never had. And here's the chocolate. And see, I've never had this to compare it to like PB2, because they, I love PB2, um, but I would love to compare the two, so I can't wait to do that. And then this is the vanilla. This is what I had today. This stuff is absolutely phenomenal. It's so sweet. So good, and I had it on a peanut on a sandwich, just in case you all wonder. And then this is the flax and chia. Yeah, I know a lot of people are not familiar with the powdered peanut butter, and so a lot of people when they see this, they think, well, how do you use that? Well, you use it just like you use regular peanut butter. You put it um, on a sandwich, or you use it with your apple or your banana. However, you would use peanut butter on crackers, whatever. That's how you use the powdered peanut butter. It's the same thing. It's just much, much, much uh, fewer calories. Um, for example, uh, two tablespoons, this is the flax and chia, two tablespoons are 50 calories. If you look at two tablespoons of Jif, it's going to be a lot of calories. Um, two tablespoons of the vanilla is 55. I can take. Oh, yeah, we have some Jif, so Kevin will get it and tell you. Just for comparison, okay, the chocolate is the same as the PB2, which is good for comparison. The chocolate is only 45 calories, and lastly, the original is 45 calories. Jif peanut butter. Regular creamy peanut butter. Regular creamy peanut butter, two tablespoons, 190. So 190. Um, four times more. Versus 45. So yeah, four times almost. people ask me why I switched. That's why I switched is for me, for the calories, it makes a, makes a huge difference. If you are on a diet counting calories, um, it, it just makes a huge difference. So thank you so much, Jennifer. I really appreciate this. Cannot wait to do a review of this. I hope you see this box opening since I'm putting box openings in my vlogs. Um, so anyway, and everyone else, thanks for watching. Well, we're at Aner Christina's and the big tomato plant is gone. It, they were over for the year and she has her Halloween wreath on the door. And so I'm waiting to get the little man. I want to tape him because he likes to see his papa. Hi. What are you doing, Hi! Hello, Angel. How are you? Hey, bud. Aww. He's so sweet. He's an angel. Hey. We've been trying to what are you um, You said. Yeah. I want to show you Andrew and Christina's decorations. I absolutely yeah. love them. I don't know if she's going to do a vlog on her own, so yeah. I figured I would show you. Um, but I think they have some really cool stuff. We got that for Andrew a couple years ago, and then Christina got this, and then she's put all this together, and I just love it. I just think it looks so cute. Very, very cute. See, it, point at that on the table and see if he'll see it again. Hey, Gavin, what is this? A big pumpkin. Big pumpkin. This is something new Gavin's doing. He's giving high fives. Yeah, good job, good job. Ha! What yeah, oh yeah. You forget that that's one of the five. things that kids five. are doing. Five. Five. Ah. All right, all right. Five. Yeah. What does, where, where'd he go? Where'd who go? Oh, she's stick. over here. Sticks right here, <laughs> What stick? What stick? There's your stick. There's you your want stick. your stick? <laughs> oh, this is the only stick that will do. Notice how it's broken? This is the only stick that will do. We've been to Walmart and I was going to give him another one. He went back. 
<laughs> you hurt? It is 6.42 in the morning, and Kevin went out and checked the trap, and I'm, can we walk out there with we you? Do you, we need a flashlight, or? I don't need that one. He's gonna use his phone. We did not, I know it's dark, I'm just gonna keep talking. We did not catch a groundhog. We caught my fear. We caught what I feared we would catch. We're gonna go around and look. But we didn't catch the groundhog. Oh no, I don't even wanna see it. Oh, he's so scared, Kevin, it's a possum. Let me get close to it. It's a possum. Yeah, we caught a possum. He's terrified. So anyway, I wanted to show you all what we caught. So we're gonna have to set this uh, up again because uh, we, we still have a groundhog. So I uh, just wanted to let you know. So I got a box out of the attic. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cage in the box. And uh, because there's pee and poop, uh, Ke or Kevin worries about there being pee and poop, and he doesn't want it to get in his car. So, um, we're gonna put the cage inside a box. And I just noticed the moon. That moon is beautiful. that thing is terrified and you know what I don't like possums any more than anybody else but he um, he looked really scared I felt sorry for him okay so we let the possum go Kevin let the possum go and I just went for the ride <laughs> um, but he is uh, cutting up more cantaloupe to reset the trap and you you said that um, he was kind of mad by the time you got him out. Yeah, it was going. <laughs> yeah, but Kevin was afraid that he would like he would like open the trap to let it go and it would run back at him. Can you imagine if it came towards you? I was prepared to run. <laughs> I was. I was ready. To go. But he smelled like anal glands. We could not get the trap in the box in the trunk, so we put it in the back seat. And it was the strongest anal gland smell I'd ever smelled. So it was nasty. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that we did let it go. That one is. We are at a new store called Rural King. And they have all kinds of baby chicks. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of them in here. And then they have some in here as well. They are $2.49, I guess. Each. Each. $2.49 each. And uh, I'll show you the red ones. Hold on, I'll show you the red ones. And they also have these. Huh? And they have rabbits. They have a black one down here. Uh, he has a name on his ear. His name says Earl. It's literally on his ear like a tattoo. This one will let you rub on. And these have like pink eyes, which are creepy. And then here's this one. Oh, he's <laughs> cute. It says, please keep fingers please. out of cage. It Rabbits may bite. It does not. It, right there. No, I don't care if they bite. Rabbits may bite. I think, they got long little teeth. Rabbits may bite. Dad used to raise rabbits. When I was a kid. And then tell me what he did with the rabbits. Bit eaten. 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 Bit ea
Uh, but we've left it in the refrigerator. It's been in there for probably five days. Um, this is the gravy packet that they put. We do not use that at all. So that goes straight in the garbage. And then on the inside here. You got the extras. This is, yeah, this <laughs> is the neck bone. That's good for making gravy if you want to make gravy. Yes, bone. a lot of people uh, use that. And then I just, it's very, very cold. You would think after um, letting it thaw in the refrigerator that long that it wouldn't be so freezing on the inside, and it is. I think the giblet packet's on the other side. We always clean the sink out really well after this. Yep. Nope. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that just looks disgusting. But if you've never done this before, that's you just meet, need to make sure you check both ends. <laughs> and um, Check all the orifices. <laughs> yeah, and then have your pan ready to put it in, which Kevin does. Kevin has a um, roasting pan here with um, aluminum. aluminum, and then we will wrap it up. I, we don't put anything on it right now, do we? Mm -mm. Salt we and pepper, maybe. Just, a little bit uh, salt I don't pepper. think we put anything. We just wrap it up and put water on the outside of the pan and then put it in the oven. Yeah, so. So we, um, the first thing we do when we're going to make a turkey dinner is um, we make the cornbread first because Kevin says you can't have turkey without having dressing. So we're making dressing as well, even though Thanksgiving is only in like a month. <laughs> we're we're going to have a nice dinner anyway with the family. Who cares? Uh, you, you don't have to just save turkey for Thanksgiving time. And if you're in England or any Ireland or wherever, you don't celebrate that anyway. So, and I know a lot of people overseas watch me. So, um, but anyway, we always make the cornbread before we put the turkey in the oven because the turkey, um, uh, utilizes the oven all day long. And so really, uh, if you have something else that you want to be dealing with, while you're cooking the turkey, then you want to get it started first. So, all that to say uh, that I have the cornbread here. Um, we cooked it in a, uh, what is that thing called? Iron skillet. An iron skillet, yeah. Cooked it in our um, skillet there, and then I put it in the bowl and I crumble it up. So anyway, Kevin is cutting the celery, and then he'll cut up some onion, and we have some onion. Um, that was already in the refrigerator and he called Andrew about dinner tonight and he told Ashley, Ashley will probably call us at lunchtime, that's when she normally calls, um, but Ashley's the one that wanted this turkey dinner so hopefully she's available. We're kind of just letting them know on the fly here, you know, at the last minute that we're gonna cook it tonight, but it's supposed to be a rainy day. It's supposed to start raining about 11, and so Kevin and I weren't gonna do a bunch of running around in the rain, and so we thought we'd go ahead and cook it today. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, Tammy is slathering <laughs> the turkey. This is some butter. Um, the turkey was in for almost four hours, and um, so it was completely covered. So we take the aluminum foil off, and it had a lot of natural juices. Yeah, and you ripped the extra aluminum off. Too. Right, so we took a dipper, took our dipper, and we got all those natural turkey juices and fat. put them, the fat, and put them in here. <laughs> because you're gonna use the turkey juice in your dressing, and Ashley has already said she wants to make turkey hash um, after we've had turkey dinner, which turkey hash, if you all don't know, is just turkey and potatoes and onions and celery. It's it's just soup, basically. So anyway, uh, you want to save as much natural fat as you can, but now we're going to make more juice with this butter. This butter, uh, we're going to put it back in the oven, and it's going to make more turkey juices and butter juice. So we got a delivery today from Angie's Boom Chicka Pop, and Kevin is just taking the boxes apart, so, because it looks like it came in two separate boxes. Um, the reason, it, it even says on the side, Holly Drizzle, because that's all I ordered. Um, I have someone who is wanting this, and they are overseas. Um, I'll just go ahead and say, it's Jenna. Uh, she's overseas, and, um, 
So she's wanting this and I did not want to wait for it to, to find it in the stores because so far I have not been able to find it at all. And um, I wanted some too. So it's not, I didn't order it just because Jenna wanted it. I ordered it for me too. So I'm just gonna let Kevin open these boxes. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm filming you. You can, you can, and we're, we're cooking behind as you can see. I showed you that earlier that we were cooking. So you can pull, uh, Kevin has no idea what I ordered. So he can be surprised. <laughs> Uh, we've had them all. This is nothing new. Oh. Yeah, these, these, there's nothing new in these boxes for reviews. It's all stuff that we've had before. All right, this is the um, candy corn. You ordered six of these. Six of those, and they're full size bags. This is the dark chocolate sea salt, and yeah. you ordered three of those. Yeah. And then. You might have to get into the other box. Ah, uh, oh, no, there we go. White chocolate, white chocolate and peppermint. You ordered um, three. Three of these. Three of those, yeah. So three and three? Yep. So that's probably those. And then what's in this box? <laughs> this one is stuff I don't recognize. Oh, I don't know what that is. Green tea. I just threw that in there for that. Green guy. tea. Um, huh. They gave me some green tea. I didn't know that they sold a green tea. That's and interesting. Relax okay, what awesome. is that? Um, frosted sugar cookie. Yep. And you've got three of these. Yep, frosted three sugar cookie. And, and I think just two of these. Two of the pumpkin spice. Yeah. That's it. Because we tried the pumpkin spice last year and we tried it. We tried it from Big Lots and we really didn't care for it that much. So, um, I don't know. I might try one of them. I'm, I'm going to give one away definitely. I might try one of them. But I ordered extra of um, these because Jenna loves the holly drizzle and it's she can't find it. She's in Germany and she can't find it. So I figured she would like a sugar cookie and she would like a pumpkin spice. And I'm going to give her one of each of these kinds because I know that she'll appreciate it. And you all know she sends me a ton of stuff from Germany. So, um, so anyway, that's what we got. Kevin did his first box opening. Yay. And they gave you cornstarch packing peanuts, so they dissolve with good water. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Biodegradable. I just wanted to show you, I'm cooking, and this is chapel. Completely spread out, completely comfortable. <laughs> Isn't he pretty? He's a pretty boy. Yes, you're a pretty boy. Yeah, oh, spoiled. So spoiled. But I have the macaroni in here. I'm draining it. And this is the broccoli casserole. I need to put some salt and pepper on it. I'm watching Corpse Bride. I need to wash this. Watching Corpse Bride on Netflix. And I have the potatoes here. And the uh, dressings here. And the Sister Schubert is laid out here. But I put the turkey back in the oven because I want to heat it up because it's been laying out for a couple of hours. So I need to put some salt and pepper on this. But I just wanted to show you the cat, really, because he's just very comfortable. And then here's Guido. He's half in, half out of his bed. Okay, so we have baked macaroni and cheese and dressing and the turkey and mashed potatoes and broccoli casserole and uh, rolls. I don't know, we hope to be worth seven. Your hair's cute. At the home, he says. You don't want to eat? He literally said, he's playing hard today. Uh, Christina, well, he wants broccoli casserole. It's very Let's hot. Let's try it. Let's try it. Why? He's what? It's hard to feed him. Oh. He'll probably eat this right here in a large bowl. Yeah, but we have a movie over here for uh, you. Yeah. It's hot. Give it some Look, look, look. Get a roll. Feel like the roll. Noodles. It looks and feels like an early Thanksgiving dinner. Dinner. Yes, sir. Uh, it's just a la carte. Whatever you want to call it. Wow. Well. 
The pine. The pine. Mm -hmm. Just choosing his own videos. Do you know if you turn it that way it gets bigger? He doesn't care. He, <laughs> he chooses videos to quit. I was going say, he doesn't leave it on there anyway. Okay, Kevin is going to check the P.O. box. It is Saturday. And, um,. We are getting ready to go to Lexington. We have some, you know, there's only so many shopping days. I'm probably really close. There's only so many shopping days um, left until Christmas. And um, so we have some item in, items in mind that we want to get. So we're going to head to Lexington today. But I told him, I said, we need to check the P.O. box before we go. Because um, um, several of you have told me that, that you're sending me boxes. So... I want to make sure if we have something that it doesn't sit here all weekend. And it looks like he is going to get something. Yeah. When they, um, he's looking at me. Oh, we, oh, we, <laughs> he's showing me out the window. We have 
two keys our box is a little box so when you all send a bigger box what they'll do is they'll put a key in the little box to go to a bigger box and he's showing me he has two keys which means two boxes um so um who knows what you all have sent me today it should be interesting it's always like christmas though it's always really fun so he'll be coming out in just a minute. I'll try to catch him when he's coming out. So you all can... Oh, okay, he's coming. So you all can see your box coming. If this is you, then you'll know you'll be seeing a box opening. Probably either during this video or on a video by itself. Okay, here he comes. Yep. One is um, a brown box and we have a white box. So this is what he's bringing out. So we will drop this stuff off at home before we go to Lexington. Today I have two boxes to open. One is from um, Esther and I won't even give her a uh, state in case she doesn't want it out there. But this is Craft Corner with Esther C. She has her own YouTube channel. And I did not know that Esther was sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's one of Oh my gosh. You know what? We are going to have to tape. I'm going to tape this back and I'm going to take this to Andrew. Uh, Tammy, I was in Walmart and saw a whole bunch of these. Please post them along to Andrew. I will. I'm going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box back and I'm going to take it over to Andrew's house and I'm going to get him to open it because I'm going to tell him this is for him. Thank you so much. That's so cool. That is so nice of you. There, uh, there are uh, 10, 10 of these. He's just going to be thrilled. He's going to die. So, um, thank you so much. That was very, very sweet of you. Um, this box is from Morgan in Canada. And she, Morgan, had contacted me and let me know that it was coming uh, through Facebook. I, I do have a Facebook page. It's Tammy Dunn. If you, if you want to look into it, it's www.facebook.com forward slash Tammy Dunn YouTube. Tammy Dunn YouTube. All one word. I'm pretty sure that's it. So, here we go. Okay. Where to begin? Begin with the card that says the Dunn family. Of course, I'm the only one representing the Dunn family here. I'm taping. I'm here. Kevin, Kevin's here. Ooh, what a pretty card. That's very pretty. That's very pretty. Oh, wow. And she wrote a lot. So... I am going to read this later. Um, actually, this is from Morgan and Chris. This is from somebody who different than who I even thought it was from. Okay, somebody else from Canada said that they were uh, sending me something. Somebody who actually lives in Canada. This is from Morgie Mouse. This is oh. for Strive for Human. Um, she has a YouTube channel called strive for human she's just gotten started she doesn't have a lot of videos on there but um she um i can say this because she has a video about it and if you're you have the same issue then you will want to go check her out uh she is a recovering anorexic and um so um her goal now is fitness and um, i won't tell you any more of her story i'm gonna let her tell it uh, but she does have a video all about it. Uh, it's Strive for Human. And um, we sent her a box. Um, we sent a box to she and her uh, fiance. And they did a box opening. And so I put the link to that box opening on our Facebook page. So if you do go to that Tammy Dunn Facebook page, you will see that. And that will tell you where to go. This is who I'm talking about. Um, Strive for Human. So, she, what the deal is, the reason I didn't recognize the address, she went to Canada. She was going to get me some stuff from Canada, and, but that's not where I sent our stuff to, if that makes any sense. That wasn't the address that she gave me. So, this stuff is from Canada. Oh, my. Kinder Surprise. I love Kinder Surprises. Yes. Oh, that's the end. Um, I wonder if, if Gavin is old enough to do these. Because I know he loves watching the videos, but I don't think he's old enough to no. open it on his own. 
but Kevin and I will open it and then we will pass it along to him. Do you think he's old enough to be in a video with us? I'm asking Kevin. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know. It's hard to get Master Kevin alone. To sit still. To sit still, yes. Um, okay. And we have a box. It's, oh. A box with tissue paper. What is this? What is this? It looks like a pond pie or something. A candle, maybe? Let me see. I don't know. I'm sure she wrote about it in her note. No, maybe that's I, a pie. That is a pie. That. Uh, yeah, I will have to let you all know where uh, what she says about this because I'm sure she wrote about it. It smells good. Well, I'll have to I'll have to get back with you. I will when, at the end of the video. We'll pause. And I will come back on and I will let you know if she said anything about that. Okay, here's a jar. Artisana, how do you pronounce that? Artisana oh, Organics see. Products Raw Coconut uh, Cocoa Bliss. That looks like a spread. So I could have used that just a second ago. I ate a banana with peanut butter. That would have been really good on my banana with peanut butter. Uh, but that's okay because I have more um, apples and bananas and uh, I will enjoy that. Okay. Um, enlighten the good for you crisp 100 calorie low fat roasted broad beans. I've never in my life had roasted broad beans. These are the barbecue, so I can't wait to try that. Hmm. They are one ounce, you get, there's three and a half servings in this bag. So, about 350 calories for that whole bag. But we'll see how they taste, because I've never had them. Okay. <gasps> oh, those are for Gavin. That's cute. To Master Gavin from Miss Morgan. <laughs> she, and he's saying, banana. <laughs> That's cute. And Dunkaroos. I guarantee these are for banana, uh, for banana, they're for banana too. They're for Gavin too. These are Betty Crocker Dunkaroos. Vanilla cookies with chocolate frosting. Well, you know Gavin will love mm -hmm. those. I'm he likes sure. to scoop that stuff up. Yes, he loves it. I just, uh, just posted his, um, Nutella where he's trying that for the first time. So, and there are lots of bars in here. I'm not skipping over anything. What is this? What? <gasps> that's for the baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. Noppies. Noppies baby. Christina's going to die. That's so sweet. It's hard to believe we're going to have another one. That Little head that will fit in there. <laughs> oh, she's going to be thrilled. Okay. Um, I see a quest bar. Pumpkin pie. Yeah, because you know what? She sent me several of these. She, I see, I liked them. I don't know if Morgan liked them or not. I thought they were good. So I will eat the pumpkin. Uh, what is this? Sucker. It's uh, pure maple syrup. Huh. Oh, it's, yeah. The syrup. I mean, it's a syrup. Oh, well, I love that. Well, well, that's probably for you because she knows you like something. All right, and then we have naked. Eat naked. Strawberry crunch, raw fruit crunchies, and nut bar. Okay, we have strawberry, and then there's cashew cookie. That sounds good. And then there's cocoa orange, and banana crunch, and Berry Delight. Lay it next to it. Oh, oh lay it next to it. I'm sorry. And Cocoa Delight. So, six of those. Mm -hmm. And then Simply Protein. This is a coconut. Simply Protein Coconut. And this one is Chocolate Caramel. And then this one is cocoa raspberry. And then two, these are the same brand. Oh no, that, this one looks like that too. This one is 
lemon coconut. And then there's one that looks different. It is simply protein, nut, and fruit. It's peanut butter strawberry. Have you ever had peanut butter strawberry anything? Just in sandwiches. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, yeah but not in a bar like that. Simply protein, fruit. That'll be cool. Okay, so we have a lot to try. I'm going to read your card, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to tell what kind of a pie that is. So, I read Morgan's card. Thank you very much, Morgan. I appreciate everything. Um, she says that the um, the Canadian, the, the little box uh, contains a Canadian pastry called a butter tart. Kind of like shoe fly pie or pecan pie without the pecans. So, Kevin and I yes, love pecan pie anyway. So, do you want to cut it or do you just want to take a bite? Kevin's just going to take a bite. So, I thought we would try this right now uh, while it's fresh and not do a separate review on this. Because um, it has traveled, so I want it to be fresh. It's good and fresh. Mm. Good flaky crust. That does taste just like a pecan bar without pecans. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's mm. very good. The crust is really good. Wow. Too. That's amazing. I love that. Mm. That is so very, very good. And I'm surprised that it traveled so well. Mm -hmm. That it's so fresh. I mean, that's like if we went to the bakery and just picked wow. it up ourselves. Yeah. That very is tender. wonderful. So, I'll save that for later. <laughs> um, and I wanted to go ahead and try this in this review as well. That way, uh, we can do the bars. We'll do the bars in separate reviews. And I can kind of do the, the this um, Kinder uh, unboxing and a review by itself. We've already tried the Quest Pecan Box. Quest Pecan Pie Bar, so we won't be doing those in the video. But we can do the bars and uh, we can try these. Um, and we'll have to make sure, I'll do, I'll have to get with the little man and we'll have to try the, the Dunkaroo things. Okay, this is, it smells like a, coconut. a coconut. With chocolate. This is, um, the chocolate coconut yeah. spread was included in honor of Kevin. So we're gonna try, we were gonna try it like on a Ritz cracker, but um, I'm gonna try it just on a plain piece of bread for this review. Yeah, it's harder than I thought it was gonna be. We might find that um, it would be better on a piece of warm toast, uh, or Kevin, are you gonna drop that? I just dropped a little bit. Um, or on fruit, like I said, when I unboxed it, banana or something. Are you supposed to heat it? It doesn't really have direction. Because it seems like if it's It says thick, no refrigeration needed. It seems like it's thick enough to where it would need to be... You would hate to heat the whole jar up. I know. No, you don't want to heat the whole jar up. And the whole thing is kind of hard, so... What are you doing? I'm tearing off a piece. Yeah, it's hard all the way through, so it's not like you stirring it would have made any difference. Mm, you don't like that. That's good. Is the coconut just on the top, though? That's what it looks like, isn't it? It looks like the coconut is just on the top. But to be fair, there are um, there are no directions mm -hmm. on here that tell you what to do with it. So drop it I tell you what, it was expensive. <laughs> the price tag is on it. It was very mm -hmm. expensive. It was probably bought at a specialty store. Mm. It's excellent. It's very, very good enough. Now, I think it'd be better off something beside bread, though. I don't know why, I think so, too. I think I think Ritz crackers probably would have been good. But I've tried things like this on Ritz crackers before, and then everyone's commented, oh, you should have tried it this way or that way. So I thought bread would be the plainest way to try it um, without getting any butter flavor or any interference from the crackers. So that's why I chose bread. <laughs> Just plain? Yeah. It's not sweet at all. And the coconut is just on the top. Mm -hmm. No, but the coconut, it's the chocolate isn't sweet, but the coconut makes it to where 
you don't mind that. It does. Yeah, you don't mind it at all that the chocolate's not that sweet. It's good. Yeah. It's different. It's very good. So anyway, thank you for everything. Um, I'll have to uh, film uh, Christina when I give her the things uh, for Gavin and the baby so that you can see. And uh, so I'll talk to you all soon. Okay, we are actually walking on Main Street. Uh, we are going to Speedway to buy a lottery ticket, of all things, because the lottery's tonight. And uh, we're, we're just, it's a beautiful day, so we just decided to walk to Speedway. And or I decided, and Kevin went along with it, instead of um, taking the car, and uh, I know I've showed you the main street before, but I just figured I would show you again because it's uh, fall time and there's some stuff here. But it's just a really pretty day, so I just thought I would show you, show you how it looks. That place is for rent. So we just left the public library. We were on a walk, as you saw earlier, and um, I've been wanting to read a good um, murder mystery, and I love M.C. Beaton, and um, um, she has a character, she has two characters that I love. One of them is Hamish Macbeth, and he lives in the um, Scottish, the Highlands, and then there is um, Agatha Raisin, and she lives in the Cotswolds, and I hope I'm saying that right, and I absolutely love her. She, I like them both, but I think I like Agatha Raisin a little bit more, I don't know, just because, I don't know why, but anyway, I got this book, Death of a Liar, hopefully you can see that, and it came out earlier this year in February, and I honestly don't remember whether I've read it or not. I started reading it, it didn't sound familiar, but I've been so busy making videos and stuff that I haven't really read any, and I love to read so much. So anyway, I'm going to take some time out to read. I mean, you'll still see videos, don't get me wrong, but I'm gonna take some time to maybe try to read a little bit before we go to bed every night. Um, I notice that when I do take time to do that, it really uh, relaxes me, and I honestly think I sleep better. People say that it's better for you if you don't have electronics before you go to bed, and um, I really, I kind of think there's some truth in that as far as I go. I'm concerned. Now, Kevin, it doesn't make any difference to him. He um, can fall asleep at the drop of a hat. But for me, it just really helps to relax me and I get to sleep a lot quicker. So anyway, we are on our way home, We're walking home. Okay, we've come over to Andrew's house and I'm gonna give him this box to open from Esther from Craft Corner from with Esther C. And Esther uh, this sent you this box. I thought it went to our P.O. box since you don't have a P.O. box. <laughs> For real? <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it plum full? Yes. She mailed those to you all the way from her state, which I won't say her home state in case she doesn't want anybody to know. But she mailed those to, to you because she saw them. I, she, there's a card in there. Um, um, I guess you knew how hard they are to find uh, here. I have to go towns over to locate these. So it's unfathomably appreciated. Uh, immensely. That, 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 that's a shocker when you told me you had something. Yeah, and then it was these. <laughs> Look. Uh, yeah, there are ten of them. Now, in all honesty, how long will those ten last you? Ten weeks. Twenty days. Twenty days? Because mm -hmm. well, you have so many each day. Two, four, six, eight, that ten. I do, well, each box lasts two days. Okay. If I'm working. 
Right. Because I do, I drink at least five bottles of water a day. Right. So. That's good though. That's a good way to get your water in. Yeah, she sent that and just said that she found those. Now, Christina, these uh, show Christina, not the magazines. I brought Christina some magazines. These are from Morgan, mm -hmm. and Morgan sent me a box from Canada, um, and uh, she sent some stuff. What are you going to give her the first? Amelia. That's for oh Amelia. That is too cute. Isn't that isn't it unbelievable how teeny tiny yeah. that is? Okay, oh, and yeah. then this is for Gavin. And look what she oh, wrote on the back. Oh, Master Gavin, Miss Morgan. Oh, <laughs> so and then there's Thank one more you. thing. I love that. These are, are from her childhood. Dunkaroos. She did not say they were specifically for Gavin, but I think they are because Gavin likes to dip. There you, is some Oreo dippers that he really likes. Uh, there's a video. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think he would love this. So yeah. thank you. So yeah, if you can get him on video, that would be great. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, thank you. My favorite is the page. Okay, make a wish list. He's going to sleep. He's used to being outside when we come over. But today you he's, can make the wish he's list inside, the page later. and so he's been riled up, and now he's going to sleep. This he's, is my first child. He's like a big baby. He's like, Mother, you're touching me. Look at him. <laughs> he is a big Sorry. baby. 